It's a new year, I don't know what to bring If you pull up on me, I'm giving everything 2018, money you already made Yo, yo, what's up everybody? Uh, today, I'm gonna do a video of me taking off uh, my lower control arms Which, pretty much everything else was already disassembled uh, I should have filmed when I did take off my um, old suspension and my upper control arms, upper camera kits, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to film and I'm going to show you pretty much how simple it is to take these off. Um, and I might even take off my subframe today because I um, I want to get it powder coated just because it's, it's old, you know. I'm going to take it off, degrease it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of shit to this. Um, I, I, for what I can see, it's my first time, but for what I can see, it's just a couple 17 mil bolts. One there, there's one there, and uh, there's a few on the other side as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to film everything. Like, uh, cause I have a GoPro, so I, I'm using a, a selfie stick. So I'm gonna try to film everything as best as I can. Um, but yeah, as of right now, that's a 14. Let me grab that. Got this here. So we're gonna start taking off this lower control arm. And it's a 14. Give me one second, somebody just call them on my phone. Hello. Okay, well, all right, well, this is a 14 here. Uh, where's my wrench? Uh, oh, there it is. All right, so I'm not using a, a ratchet just because I want to break this loose first. And, uh, it's actually not that bad. I don't know if you guys can even see how dirty it is. Um, I wish the lighting was a little better in here. But whatever, you guys get it. There isn't a nut on the other side, from what I know. Yeah, it's it's our there's already like a a nut built into this subframe. So yeah, we got that. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. Alright. I figured I'd make this video. Might be a couple of people ask how to do this. This is for pretty much the same, I'm pretty sure, with the EF hatches as well. And uh, probably most other cars as well. You know, it's not, it can't be that hard. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna grab a ratchet after this because I'm working like a like a dummy right now. But yeah, let me uh let me go grab a wrench or a, a ratchet and uh, I'll be right back another quick uh, tip maybe before you do go and take your control arms off uh, your lower control arms remove the traction bar arm uh, and I have the innovative one y'all already know that um, but yeah you might want to remove this first um, just so it drops out pretty easy uh, these bolts should just be able to unscrew now for the most part um, but yeah, mine's at uh, 219 bolts. Uh, so yeah, give me a second. Get this on the screw. I got one. I got the other one here. Just so it's hanging free. Probably gonna. Maybe, maybe not. I really need to get a tripod so whenever I'm doing stuff like this, I can just put the camera down. All right, there we go. That's pretty much off. It is off. <laughs> um, it's my traction bar. All right, so now we got that off. Um, we might go ahead and take this off here. 
which should be a 14. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's a 14. What's under here? Another 14. All right. Um, for this, I'm just going to... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. No, that's not it. Uh -huh. All right. So for this... I literally just put these on, not not paying attention. Um, I don't really need these on here right now because I got all the new stuff coming in. So give me one second. All right, so pretty much here. I'm trying to get this camera held up. I don't even know how I'm gonna hold the camera up for this one. Um, maybe that. All right, should work. much just gonna take all this stuff off that way your control arm is free uh, pretty sure most of y'all already know that though but for the people that don't know you know just make a quick little video pretty simple all right so we got this broken free Here we go. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything back how it was, just so I remember. Which it's all pretty much common sense, but for the people that don't know, you know. All right, we got these through. Boom. That's how this should look. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, film taking off the rest of this bolt over here, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So. Here we have just one bolt here. It's uh, pretty much loose now. I think it is loose all the way already. Just gotta pull it out. Uh, I might have to keep cranking on it. You see? Yeah, for the most part that I know, it's, uh, it's done, but. You gotta kind of pull on it as you uh, turn it out, you know. There we go. We got it loose. Here's the bolt. Don't mind uh, getting your hands dirty. Uh, it's part of working on cars, you know. Wow, I'm so happy I'm getting spherical bearings. Look at these. Wow, man. Yeah, so. I'm gonna put this bolt back through here just so you remember where it goes. Uh, a lot of y'all probably already know where it goes, but just me, I like to do that. So yeah, we got that through there. Uh, there's how you pretty much remove your lower control arm. It's uh, pretty much simple. Uh, nothing too serious, nothing hard. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this side, which this side was pretty much already uh, all disassembled, like the bolt and everything. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Take this side off so it's out of the way for when my new stuff gets in. Using one hand, so everything's a little bit of a pain in the ass right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is all pretty much simple. Uh, yeah, nothing really too hard. Like I said, everything I'm doing now is all learning stuff for me. So uh, everything I'm doing, I've been learning as I go. And uh, yeah, I'm just not scared to take shit apart and something breaks and replace it or something, you know? I mean, pretty much the joy of building a car, I guess. All right, so this is pretty much out. You see, all right. So now what we can do is just turn and pull. Ah, damn, I think it's a little bit uh, more tighter than I thought it would. All right, well, time to get the here still. All right, well, I guess it just doesn't want to cooperate with us. Uh, we'll just keep going. Nah, that should be good now. All right, so pull that out of there. All right, here's the bolt. I want to yank on it, hit it a couple of times. 
I just got such a mess under my car right now. Um, just because I'm doing everything, I'm kind of limited with room under my house. Um, the landlord gets pretty mad, so try to keep everything bunched together. All right, so this is the old ones. Not bad for a freaking 1990 all stock. <laughs> it's, uh, it actually doesn't look as bad as the other side. The other side was uh, eating through. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad there. <laughs> but yeah, these are um, the lower control arms here. All stock. Uh, I'll probably go spray this bolt down, clean it up. Just so it's uh, not all greased up like this. And uh, I'll probably do the same with the other side as well. This is already all assembled. I gotta get some new bushings on these. If you can see how ripped they are. <laughs> wow, that's nuts that I was even driving like that before. Um, but yeah, pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and spray off this uh, with some degreaser. And uh, which part is that? And uh, I'll grab the other side here. Which is tightened down because I'm a dummy and I tightened it on there. I don't know why. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take off these and spray them off just to make them a bit more fresh than what they were. Wow. And uh, yeah, so give me a second. I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you guys these bushings here while it's a little bit more light out. They're uh, pretty uh, pretty fucked, if, if I would say. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy I ordered all new <coughs> lower control arms, upper control arms. Uh, I'm pretty much redoing my whole car and uh, I'm pretty hyped up about it, so. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and spray these real quick. Doesn't have to look perfect, you know, just so they're not uh, soaked in freaking grease. Jeez, my gloves. I'm about to take these gloves off here in a second, so might as well scrub them a little bit instead of grabbing my wire brush and scratching them all down. Yeah, so as long as it's not coated, you know what I mean, then uh, I'm pretty fine with it. I just hate when they're so coated and you go to grab it and you get a finger full of grease, which is the most old shit, but whatever. Why is this yellow? It's like they painted it. <laughs> Original color was yellow. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spray these off. This is really like, y'all don't really need to see this, me washing bolts down, but yeah. Go ahead and cut the camera. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is pretty much good for me. Um, meets the standards. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just gonna leave these here. Uh, I'll probably leave my lower control arm here as well because I should be getting mine on Monday, which is, uh, I'll make another video for that. Um, yeah, this is where we're staying off with how the under my car looks. Uh, we'll probably take these off in another video as well so I can go get these pushed out of here um but yeah we uh we're looking good you know slowly coming along and pretty hyped up that i'm doing all this and showing you guys how the process is coming so yeah it's gonna be fun and i'm gonna go upstairs and i'm actually show you guys what the drop forks look like um that connect to the suspension um, I actually got them powder coated and I figured I'd throw them in the end of this video here just to show you guys how they look So uh, yeah, be right back go up in my room. All right guys, so pretty much These are my drop forks here Y'all should uh, already know by now. This is my suspension. I don't really have good lighting in my room to record stuff um, I do want to say though that these drop forks they're not as green as they look in this video uh, it's called a shocker yellow what I got them powder coated and they have like if it was in the sunlight It would it would be a lot more better and I'm on a GoPro too. So the quality of this just really isn't all that good um, But yeah, these are the drop forks here. Uh, I, I wanted to change it up a bit um, Yeah, but I, I had got them done 
I did drop off my manifold. Uh, I'm just giving y'all a preview of one of the colors that I'm running with and my new color scheme that I'm going with. Uh, yeah, but this is the color for the drop fork. Oh, uh, yeah, and I actually really, really, really like it. So, yeah, this is pretty much the drop fork here. Uh, I really wish I can get a better lighting on this. There's no sun out either today. We got nothing but clouds. But, uh, yeah, these are the drop forks here. Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure I can fit one of these on here real quick for you. All right, yeah, check it out. So with the coilovers and the drop fork, this is pretty much how it's gonna look. And I love it. Like it just, like with this orange, like it, it, the camera doesn't really do any kind of good for what I'm trying to show you guys right now, but this looks absolutely amazing in person. So yeah, these are the drop forks and my suspension setup. Uh, yeah, so I just figured I'd show you guys before I post them up everywhere else. So yeah, there it is, and uh, pretty much going to be ending to this video until I get my uh, upper control arms and lower control arms so I can make another video for you guys. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys pretty much how everything's coming along. I wanted to make that quick little video on how to remove the lower control arms. So yeah, uh, other than that, I'll uh, see you guys on the next episode, and enjoy.